as Pixar say, who clearly know a thing or two about storytelling, you won't actually see what the story is about until you've finished. Now you can rewrite or start to write the story. And that's exactly the same for data. We don't really want to start creating the structure of our story until we've finished with the analysis and we really know what we want to tell our audience. This phase should feel quite distinct from that last phase where we were doing the curious exploratory work to identify our findings and the meaning in the data. And now we're moving into an explanatory phase where we're really focused on doing just that explaining to our stakeholder. And the visuals that we'll use alongside our explanations will also be more explanatory style rather than the exploratory ones that are a bit less presentable. So to be able to explain well to our stakeholders, we need to take a step back and almost think of what's our elevator pitch? What's our answer to the brief? What are we trying to communicate holistically? And once we're clear on that, we can start to flesh it out and fill in, and fl fill in the details of the story. So for some people, they might use post-it notes to storyboard. Others might find that they like to populate the title lines of the slides in, in PowerPoint to convey the, the key messages of the story. Uh, for me, I'm very comfortable in a spreadsheet, so I like to keep my insights in, sep in separate cells in the spreadsheet and then pull them around and structure them until I've got a clear explanatory message to deliver to my stakeholder. In order to create the content for our story, what we don't want to do is to parade every single insight that we found in our exploratory phase. What we want to do is to move beyond that raw material definition of the story and to pick out the pieces that flow together that make the plot and create a narrative. And so for that, we can use our story arc. And within the story arc, we start with the setting, the context, why this is important and why it's relevant for our stakeholders. This is where we're really introducing the problem. In the main body of our story, conflict and tension are going to be integral here. So we're posing hypotheses and perhaps disproving them, but crucially there's gonna be this pivotal discovery. And nine times out of 10 in analytics, there's gonna be a pivotal discovery, some kind of surprise, and that can really become the climax of your story. And then the falling action is perhaps any insights that support that, but it all leads to what should feel like an inevitable conclusion and a resolution to the problem so that our stakeholders know what action to take, what they can do to resolve things.